Well, hello everyone. Today I thought I would read a book. And I brought a friend with me to help us read. She'll be along in a minute. Oh, there she is. The story we're going to read today is Pinkalicious, Dragon to the Rescue. Pinkalicious, Dragon to the Rescue by Victoria Can. Welcome, happy campers, I said to my friends. They were at my house for a campfire party. Let's look at the stars, I said. What do you see? I see the Big Dipper, said Allison. I see a dragon, Peter said. The wind began to blow. I can feel the dragon's breath, Molly said with a giggle. The wind blew harder. Suddenly, it blew out our fire. Allison grabbed my hand. Now it's really dark, she said. Should we go inside, Molly asked. If only our starry dragon could light the fire, Peter said. He can't, I said. But I know a dragon who can. We need Gertie the dragon. I said to my friends. How do we find her? Peter asked. We have to visualize her, I said. Then she'll appear. We closed our eyes. I can picture her. She is big and pink, Molly said. She's flying through the stars, Allison said. And over the moon, said Peter. Hello, said a voice. It was our pinkatastic dragon friend. We did it, Peter gasped. Hooray, Molly cheered. Welcome to our campfire, Allison said. Oh, I love campfires, Gertie said. But where is the fire? The wind blew it out, I said. Can you relight it? Gertie breathed a big flame. Thanks, Molly said. Now we can tell campfire stories, Allison said. Let's play the story game, I said. What's that, Peter asked. We tell a story all together, I explained. We each take a turn adding a line. I'll start, Molly said. It was a dark and stormy night, she said in her spookiest voice. The trees creaked, Peter continued. The thunder got louder, Allison said, and louder until... Boom! I shouted. Ah! Gertie screamed. She flapped her wings so hard that she snuffed out the fire. Oops! Gertie squeaked. Scary stories scare me. Dragons get scared, Peter asked. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Gertie said. Speaking of scared, Allison said, it's really, really dark. So I asked Gertie, could you light the fire again? Gertie breathed deeply. But no flames came out. I'm sorry, she said. I'm too scared to breathe fire. My mom gives me a bear hug when I get scared, Allison said. Maybe Gertie needs a dragon hug, Molly said. Great idea, I said. We gave Gertie a big hug. Do you feel better, I asked. I feel very loved, Gertie said. 
She took a deep breath. No flames came out. I guess I'm still a bit scared, Gertie said. Suddenly, I heard a rumble. Is that thunder, Molly asked? Is that wind, Peter asked? No, Allison said. It's Gertie's tummy. I get hungry when I'm scared, Gertie said. Don't worry, I said. I have the perfect dragon food. I waved a pink marshmallow under Gertie's nose. Her nose twitched. I wish we had a fire to roast these marshmallows, Peter said loudly. We could make s'mores, I said. Did someone say s'mores, Gertie asked. Gertie breathed a big flame. You did it, Allison said. You saved our campfire, Molly said. You're very brave, told Peter told her. Three cheers for Gertie, I said. I'd prefer three marshmallows, Gertie said. She breathed another flame. It roasted our marshmallows. I'm glad you came to our campfire, I told Gertie. Me too, Gertie said. Everything is s'more fun with friends. Thanks for reading along with me. I'll see you next time.